Oh hi, how do I look? Do I look different than before? Today, we're gonna learn how to make a better look using PBR in Touch Designer. Yay! Do you know about PBR? PBR means physically based rendering. It represents light reflecting to a material's surface based by physics, but not exactly identical to real physical phenomenon. PBR has been used in various places such as movies, videos, and many games. But what is PBR exactly, and how should we use it? When you make PBR, you can see these options. Mostly, we set the metallic and roughness to make a material's surface. The surface is decided by setting relationship between metallic and roughness. It can be smooth or it can be metallic. In this example, PBR can make various material. There is specular that we've seen in Pong, which means specular reflection, and diffuse means diffuse reflection. We can make non-metallic and smooth material using specular, but it may not make a huge difference. And there is normal map. Normal map is really awesome. Wow, normal map. As you can see, this surface looks bumpy, but actually it is fake. How is this possible? This image is a height map, which contains information that shows white is up and black is down. If we connect the image to normal map, it becomes like this. In here, R, G, B, R, X, Y, Z axis each, which contains information about how much it comes out to reflect light. So we can use normal map to make bumpy surface without using lots of polygons. Of course, you can also use height map to actually make polygons bumpy, what we did in the previous landscape tutorial. But it's not done only with material. We need light. Light is complicated. When sunshine comes through the window, it does not bright only the certain areas. The light reflect therefore makes the area around it bright. That's why it takes quite a while in pre-rendering to calculate this light reflection. In real-time render, it's hard to calculate light reflection. So you can use environment light to preset how light will reflect. As you can see, we can get such a great look by setting environment light map. And you can find environment map searching HDRI on Google, also on HDRI Heaven. Of course, you can make your own environment light as well. By the way, there is a technique to calculate light reflection in real time. It's called ray tracing. It makes high quality render in real time, but it seems like there's still a long way to go. Whatever it is, now we know Touch Designer can make quite good graphics. As you can see, you can easily get various materials with downloaded PBR maps on internet. But we are on Touch Designer right now, so we can get unique material by using our own real-time image. Cause this is Touch Designer. This isn't my type, but it looks not so bad. So is there no more use of Pong? Of course there is. You can use Pong to make natural materials using diffuse and specular. Using PBR can make it easier and more intuitive than Pong, but it doesn't mean PBR is always better than Pong. The most important thing is, whatever it is, if you see it's the best, that will be the right answer. Thank you for watching. If you do Patreon for me, you can download an example project file about PBR. I'll come back with a better tutorial next time. Bye.